Here comes the greatest moment in human history, and here is a man speaking as calmly as he possibly could. Now, now step off the limb now. You can see the tether straining a little as he moves slightly to the left. He's looking down now at his left foot, which is invisible below the frame. And then you can actually see him shift his weight. You can actually tell from his posture that he's stepping on dust that's giving away just a little. Then he does something else I didn't notice before. You can actually watch him pushing down, maybe five or six times, damping down the gray talcum powder of the surface the way you would if you were standing on snow. He's testing to make sure it's going to support his weight. Up in the limb, from our point of view, Aldrin's reflection is moving across the glass. Armstrong is looking down at his left boot. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. For the first and only time during this entire run of footage, Armstrong glances up, almost to see if Buzz got the shot. But of course, that's just my Hollywood background talking. Armstrong was looking right at Aldrin. And for half a second, you can see the eyes of the man who just stepped off of his spacecraft and into immortality. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. F2, 1 second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. And then, just like that, he goes back to work. He starts describing the texture of the lunar dust. I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the, uh, the sole and sides of my boot. What we saw all around the world was a barely legible blob moving against a black background, as if he really were stepping out onto the stage of history and reading his line. But if you watch it from above, you can see all of the nuance, all the hesitation, and then you actually get to watch for a moment as Neil Armstrong prepares himself to step out onto the moon. This demystifies the entire moment. It becomes less iconic, becomes less abstract, becomes less historic, and it becomes far, far, far more human. 